Out of all the characters who have a chance at being DLC for Smash Ultimate, none of the internet more divided than Steve for Minecraft. Either you think he deserves to be in the game, or you're threatening to pee in Sakurai's meat salad if he makes the cut. And as someone who's literally never touched a Minecraft game in his life, I don't see any good reason why Steve shouldn't get the nod. So crack open a can of energy milk, lie to your neighbor about knowing somebody famous, press the subscribe button if you haven't already, and allow me, the 10th wonder of the world Cameron, to tell you why Steve should in fact be DLC for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna get tons of flack for sticking up for a character's inclusion to Smash that many Nintendo fans seem to hate, but I've gotta call things like I see it. And besides, you can't even say that Nintendo fans hate Steve anyway. Just look at how well Minecraft games have sold on Nintendo consoles. I mean, it sold 1.47 million copies on the Wii U. That console never even existed. And besides, what's the definition of a Nintendo fan anyway? If you ask my moderately attractive ass, I think that if you pretty much buy anything from anybody, it makes you a fan. Unless you're buying it as a joke or something, like that time I bought Senran Kagura Reflections and played it for over 140 hours. But maybe you fall into the crowd of people who acknowledge that Minecraft's popular with Nintendo fans, but still deny that it's welcome in the Smash community. But the fact is that millions of Nintendo fans are buying Minecraft on Nintendo platforms. And I'm gonna call you crazy if you don't think that a large percentage of that crowd doesn't also play Smash. Sure, a lot of those people are kids, but the same thing could be said about Nintendo fans in general. I mean, I was like 12 when I first started playing Smash, and I'm pretty sure the same could be said for most of the Smash community. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. But even if there was something wrong with the Minecraft fan base completely consisting of children. Even that's not true, as many adults play Minecraft as well. And before you start judging adults who play Minecraft, then just remember how much hell Pokemon fans had to go through for a while since that franchise was deemed to be only for kids as well. And if you still think Pokemon's just for kids, then what are you doing watching a Smash video, dingus? It's full of Pokemon. But for argument's sake, let's pretend that every single Smash fan's gonna be pissed about Steve being one of the five DLC characters. Do you really think that pissing Smash fans off has ever stopped Nintendo or Sakurai before? These are the same people who looked at the outrage over Waluigi being absent and said, Frig you guys, you're getting a Mario Kart item as a playable character instead. Which is ironic, as Waluigi was playable in Mario Kart while only being an item for Smash. But the bottom line is that Smash fans are always gonna be pissed no matter what, and they're always gonna keep playing, too. I'm pretty sure the majority realize how much Smash Ultimate actually gave us. But there is that big entitled chunk of the fan base that are just always gonna spray piss and shit all over the place, even if we get 30 new characters as free DLC, because there's always gonna be somebody important missing. People who can't be pleased with a game that has Mario, Link, Pikachu, Ryu, Pac-Man, Sonic, Mega Man, Snake, Simon Belmont, Bayonetta, Cloud, My Neighbor Terry, and now Joker of all people just aren't worth Nintendo worrying about. Especially if they're gonna keep playing anyway. After all, Endog's a business, and the idea is to bring as many new people to the series as possible. And Although Minecraft has sold amazingly well in Nintendo consoles, it's done even better everywhere else. Like, way better. It's the second best-selling video game of all time, for frig's sake. So while the Smash community might not like that Steve would be wasting one of the five spots for new characters, Nintendo's just gonna gain way too many new players by branching out to the Minecraft fanbase to even care about that. As I've already mentioned, surely a portion of Smash's fanbase also plays Minecraft. But Minecraft sold 154 million copies, whereas the entire Smash series combined sold 53 million. So even if every Smash fan plays Minecraft, there'd still be at least 100 million Minecraft players who don't play Smash. And Nintendo would be silly to ignore those numbers, because I guarantee that Steve would bring a lot of new fans to the series. Which is half the idea behind bringing third-party characters to Smash anyway. Third-party characters are meant to please the existing fan base, but it's also meant to bring new fans in as well. You might think it's lame for Nintendo to think about money when considering Smash DLC, but just remember that the more money Smash Ultimate makes, the cooler the next game is gonna be. And for anybody who loves Smash, wouldn't you want other people to experience the same joy? I know Microsoft owns Steve, and if Nintendo were to add a Microsoft character, then it should be Banjo. But is Steve really a Microsoft rep? I mean, Minecraft's already been on everything before Microsoft got their hands on it. Personally, I want Banjo and Kazooie in the game more than any of the third-party characters, including Joker. And that's saying a lot with Persona 5 being my favorite game ever made. But as I've said in my video about why Banjo won't be in Smash Ultimate, a new Banjo game would be exclusive to Microsoft, unlike Minecraft. Unless Xbox Live on the Switch means you can play Xbox games somehow. So I wouldn't expect Nintendo to promote Banjo, only for Microsoft to jump out of the bushes and say, Hey everybody, look, we got Banjo, only on Xbox. And yes, that means I think Persona 5 is coming to the Switch. But even if it doesn't, Nintendo still has Persona Q2 featuring Joker. 
Joker. And speaking of Joker, even if you don't like Persona, most did agree that he's cool and interesting enough of a character to get the Smash invitation. Meanwhile, Steve's more boring than my grandma's yummy junk. But is he really too boring to be included in Smash? I'm probably not the most qualified person to judge Steve's character since, well, I've never played Minecraft. But I'm pretty sure he's equally as interesting and preposterous as Wii Fit Trainer, Mr. Game & Watch, Rob, the Mii Fighters, and dare I say even Villager. So just because Steve's not as interesting as the game he comes from doesn't mean he deserves the snub. Speaking of the game he's from, though, Minecraft looks pretty goddamn interesting to me. I still don't want to play it, but there's certainly tons of potential for a really cool stage and probably an assist trophy or two. And don't even try to act like the Sackman could think of a good move set. After all, he made Piranha Plant work, so anything's possible. My final thoughts on the matter, though, were if Nintendo and Sakurai had a private meeting with myself and they told me they're developing a Smash game exclusively for me and that nobody else would be allowed to play it, and that I'd be able to choose the entire roster, then I wouldn't choose Steve if my choices were limited, because like I've said, I've never touched Minecraft before. But in a game meant to appeal to as many people as possible, I'd be surprised if Nintendo didn't do everything they possibly could to get Steve's Hamburglar ass into the game, because whether or not you like it, he is an iconic video game character. And it's not like he came from an anime or porno or anything like that, unlike a certain someone. But the people who Nintendo really need to get into Smash Ultimate are today's patrons of the day, Dojin, Shinji, and John Polish Impossible to say. If you want to join these badasses, then consider supporting this channel on Patreon for loot boxes and silly rewards in the mail. Or check out our merch store for things that have been scientifically proven by my neighbor Terry to land you a hot date. And if you send us pictures or videos of you rocking the merch, then we'll put it in our videos like these badasses right here. What do you think about the possibility of Steve from Minecraft making it into Smash? Do you think the good outweighs the bad, or is it just not smashy enough? Either way, let me know what you think in the comments below, and as always, I'll pin whatever I find most entertaining or intriguing. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to prove to the world how big of a badass you are. And if you like and share this video, it really goes a long way to help this channel grow. My name's Cameron, and I'll see you next time. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty, thank you for your support.